Hello, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. My name is Violet. If you're new here, I love reviewing makeup and skincare products. My videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Today I wanted to talk about my Anastasia Subculture Palette because I am afraid that this may be discontinued very quickly. I have seen it at quite a few different winners locations here in Calgary and it has even been marked down. As well, Anastasia is releasing a new palette this week, the Riviera palette, which I am super excited about and hopefully will be ordering, fingers crossed. But this made me think, you know, it's time to give Subculture a bit of love. I just recently released a video, I was try dressing up like Anastasia from the 1997 20th Century Fox video, so I'll leave the card in the video for you for that. I wanted to do a quick Mardi Gras look today for this palette because we are headed into that time of year. So because I think the Anastasia Subculture palette is probably going to be discontinued, I thought it was a great time to take a look at it and see what and how these things worked on camera. I've been a little bit shy talking about what I think with regards to the texture, with regards to the color. So watch me apply it and I'll tell you if this is a good buy, if you seen, if you can find one, if I think it's defective or if I think it's awesome. Hey, I'm so sorry about the background noise. That is the Goonies. They're watching it with my husband. By them, I mean the kiddos. The subculture palette is beautiful. It is so soft and the felt velvet texture makes it feel very luxurious. The colors are amazing and pigmented and they have great names. Cube, Dawn, Destiny, Adorn, All Star, Mercury, Axis, Roxy, Electric, Fudge, New Wave, Untamed, Edge, and Rowdy. You got your greens and your yellows and your purples. You've got light colors, you've got dark colors. I think you'll be very happy to play with this. Now, they are very, very pigmented powders. These mattes are very true mattes, and you have to be careful when you place them because if you put on too much, it'll be very easy to tell. So, you know, you can always be a little bit of a uh, cavalier cowboy with the lightest color, but when you get into something darker like fudge here, you need to be very careful how you place it. You don't want to put too much product on. So I'm using a smaller brush. I'm just using the small end of the Anastasia brush that comes with the palette. It works pretty good. And I am blending it like crazy. So I was watching the Jaclyn Hill video she just put out on blending techniques and I found it very helpful. I'll make sure I put it in the description below. But I'm going in now with Rowdy, the dark matte purple, and I'm going to use that in the corners just because I want to give you a good sense for how everything places. Again, I'm picking out very little product and I'm trying to place it carefully because once you make a mess with too much product, you have to start over. This is what I find with this palette. So it's better to build slowly and build carefully and blend, 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 blend. That is the key here. All right. So as you can see, it's a little patchy going on, but then I'm blending it in and it is looking pretty good. It's just very pigmented powder and it takes practice getting used to using a powder like this. But a lot of you out there, you fellow YouTubers are saying that this formula isn't different than the other Anastasia formulas. I'm going to have to use some of the other stuff she's come out with for powdered pigments and see if this is true. Now, Untamed is going in my inner corner. This really cool dark green is very nice. It's a very dark, I would say kind of mossy green. And I'm not. I'm trying to not have the uh, colors meet the middle, but I'm bringing them towards each other just to create a lot of depth and smokiness to this eye because, you know, Mardi Gras, green, gold, purple, can we do it? I don't know, but you know what? I'm having fun and I am blending and you get to see how these colors can perform in the hands of an amateur. Just what you wanted, right? Ho oh. ho! Now we're going in with edge and it is so pigmented. I just covered the brush and placed it and oh my goodness. I feel like I'm ready to go. I could leave it just like this and I think it would be pretty poppin', but I'm gonna use electric just because there's nothing like a little bit of sparkle to kind of fix everything. I'm just placing that with a fingertip because I find that these sparkly shades do better with just a finger. And I want a little bit more uh, deepness on the corners and I'm going to line the lower lash line with a rowdy, that dark purple, to try and tie everything together as I do because, you know, I'm not an expert, but other YouTubers seem to do this and it looks good and I really love this palette. I mean, it is difficult to use and I've done a lot of worse looking looks than this because the colors are so pigmented. Just be careful guys out there and you should be fine. I mean, if you can get it for half price or less at a Marshalls or Winners, I mean, if you can get it on sale, I say go for it. It's great. It's sparkly. My light's been on. The makeup's on. We're just gonna do like a quick beauty montage. very 
exciting and it has a lot of controversy surrounding it. When it first came out, there was good batches and bad batches, too much fallout, too powdery a texture, and pigmentation that was hard to manage. Now, I have had this palette for about a month now and I have been swatching it like all the time. I've been playing with it all the time and I haven't shown you guys this palette on my channel yet because I was afraid that I wouldn't do it justice because this Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette is amazing all right I hope that you can get your hands on the subculture palette if you want it because I really like it and it is one of those things that gets me very excited about makeup Hmm. And it makes me also want to improve my makeup application skills, which I think is important too, because we all want to become masters of whatever it is that we're doing for fun, right? Am I right? You know, my son talks about master builders from Lego, so maybe I could be a master blender like Jaclyn Hill. Yeah? No? Eh. No big deal, whatever. What do you guys think of Anastasia Beverly Hills? Do you love her products? Is there products you've used from her that you absolutely hate? I am pretty sure I'm going to be picking up the Riviera palette because that's all I can think about right now and I think the colors are so wonderful and I am so ready for some summer and springtime weather because it has been very cold in Calgary. If you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more videos like this, please give me a great big thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel because I like talking to you guys. Okay, well, I'll take it.